Hi all, welcome to the channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Now it's been a while since we've been working on my buddy here, Vincent, and he's been printing on my Creality uh, Ender 3 Pro printer there. Um, I'm at the point now where I've printed every single thing that I needed to print, and I've glued everything together. Now we had already done the head section, but I'm just going to talk about in this video the body section, how it's pieced together before I start painting it. When I do the painting and detailing, that'll be another video. So uh, without further ado, Let's show you old Vincent. Now before I put it on the close-up camera, this is how big Vincent actually is. If I hold him up against me, you can see he's a, he's a big boy. <laughs> Look at that, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just trying to think of the best way to hold him. I'm gonna hold him just underneath for the minute. We've got the ball sections, which have already been 3D printed in black filament here. Uh, and they go sort of like under there like that. Now I can put them extended if I wanted to, they're extended, but I'm gonna have mine fixed. Now this model is gonna be a fixed model, so it's not gonna have any moving parts, but there are some things that I've done just to make it sit upright like you see here. And I'm gonna show you what they are now. Now I'll put one of my cameras back. So just so you know, all of this was printed in gray, uh, PLA filament but the top I've made a head section at the top here which was a clear filament a transparent because uh, if you see the film obviously when his head comes up this bit is clear uh, this bit underneath was made with white filament which I painted red this wasn't printed in uh, red filament but you can see that in my past video that I did uh, which I'll put a link somewhere up there uh, obviously the eyes here if you look at those they are indented there so they're not sitting straight and there's the ear pieces as well. So that's the head. Now the only thing that I've done different since you last saw this was put a neodymium, neodymium, is that the name? Magnet just in here. And I've done the same just for the uh, cap here. So that when the cap goes on, just like that, it's not gonna fall off. It enables it to rotate around if I needed to, uh, but it keeps it all in one place without having to glue that. So that I can take that head off there so you can see the section underneath. That's the headpiece. Now, this big thing here is the body. <laughs> Look how big it is. Uh, but this does come apart even more. So I'm gonna just break it apart and show you each individual section. Now this area here is the shoulder section. And as you can see, before I primed it, it's made up of four pieces. One, two, three, four. And then we've got the claws on the side here and here. And this is just gonna, the head sits in here. And then the rest of this section here just fits on top of the body. Uh, that took a real long while to print. Uh, the biggest, hardest thing to do when you're printing these is to figure out the supports. And the supports here, I started using with tree supports, but I'm gonna show you the actual uh, STL files in Cura, uh, just so you can get an idea of what each section of this is like. Now that leads us to the main part of the body, and this is made up of quite a few sections. First off, we've got the front of the body and the rear of the body. That's made up of two sections there, that's these circular sections here. Then we've got the guns. The guns are made up of three sections. We've got this part here, we've got this part here, and then we've got this flat part here. And it's the same on the other side there. So we've got one here, as you see, I've done it in a different filament color, then the clear filament uh, with the gun, and then you've got this flat part just here. On the bottom, we've got the leg housings, which is one, two here. And then we just turn it round, and we've got two parts of the backpack, which look just like that. Now, as you can see, I've used quite a few colors of filament here because this did take quite a lot of filament to actually print. Uh, I've got some other items that we just need to put in. As I said, these were just printed in black PLA, so I don't need to uh, paint these at all. I do like the effect on these as well. And there's two of these, which are the feet or the magnetic cannonballs that go underneath uh, for uh, Vincent to stick to things. I'm actually just gonna glue these into place on these rough areas here. So I'm not gonna need to uh, sand these or anything like that. They'll just glue straight into those link pieces. We've got two of the guns, which come out of the middle section of the guns here. So let's bring that back over. These guns here actually just go in here, kind of like that. And then we've got the claws, which look just like this. And then again, I'm gonna have these static on here, but these sort of fit in kind of like that. These need still a bit filing down, because I am actually gonna have these fitting flush inside so all you're seeing is just that bit of the claw there but that's the claws then the last thing we've got is the screen at the front this is the actual screen looking just like that and that that side the screen does have a surround on it 
And I've got the surrounding here at the moment, but I do need to take this out. So I'm gonna take that out now because this is painted a slightly darker color than the rest of the Vincent um, robot. So what I'm gonna do, let me just take this gun out here, is I'm gonna prime all of this up and then I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna sand and what I'm not, because I really do like the paneling of this, how this is pieced together and paneled. I've already filled up some of the gaps, but uh, it's supposed to be a robot. It's not meant to be smooth. So uh, I'm wondering, once it's all primed, I'll get an idea, uh, would it be okay to leave it? Sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? But we'll have to see how that goes. So that's basically the physical side of Vincent. Uh, let me just show you some of the STL files in Cura, uh, just to show you how I manipulated them on the print bed, uh, and also what sort of supports I used them for them. Now, if you wanna get hold of these STL files, they're on the Vincent Builders group by a guy called Ian Hughes, and the link is in the description, so you can go over to the Facebook site, sign up to that, and you'll be able to get these files for yourself so you can print that. Now for my splicing program, I always use Cura and I've just opened the uh, the file up here. Now when you download all the uh, Vincent files, I'll just uh, go up to where they are here. Um, basically you've got three files in a zipped up file. You've got a, a middle section correction and a gun hollowed arm correction. Uh, but all the files you need will be in the Vincent V2 folder. And as you see, it's broken down into body, claws, extended legs, feet, guns and head. Now we've already done the head. So if I click on body, you can see how many different files there are to print. Now remember that first one I showed you on the shoulder at the start off with, well they're down the bottom here, you see shoulder left front? If I download one of them, this is what the file looks like. As you can see, it's massively big. It's never gonna fit on my build plate, which is why my whole Vincent is 40%. So to change the uh, size of it, I basically click on this second icon down and just put 40 in the verse box and click enter, and it changes all the proportions to 40. Then I wanna put that onto the build plate. Now you can either click on the icon there, manually move it on there, or just click up here and click arrange all models. So this is what it looks like when it's on the bed here. And as you saw, there was four of these, uh, and obviously the claw went into the section underneath. Now, if I was to print it like that at the moment, you'll have loads of supports coming up this section here, which you don't want. So what I did was I selected the folder, click on rotate, and I printed it on this side here. So what you do for that is you put select face to align to build plate and then just click on the flat edge you want down. As you can see, it automatically puts that down. Now all the red areas are where it's gonna put supports. Now traditionally, I would just put supports in here and it will build up towers. If I show you uh, without uh, tree supports at the moment, what it would look like. Hang on a second. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do, so don't, uh, don't worry about that. I'm just making sure it's right. So we're gonna click generate supports. And it's going to put supports on there. And then when I click slice, you're going to see what sort of supports it would have put in here. Now, if I click preview, there you go. You can see those big blocky supports that it's putting in just underneath that curve, which are absolutely ginormous, which I didn't want because basically trying to break these out of this mold here was a living nightmare. So what I did was scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see a section called experimental. I use tree supports. So I put a tick in there and slice that again. And it's gonna look <laughs> like a complete mess when you see it, but the tree supports are so easy to take out of the uh, of the model. It does take a lot more time to process, but when it's done, it looks like that. Now I know you're thinking, hang on Wayne, that looks very similar to what we had, but no, look underneath. All these supports are hollow. So all you're doing is breaking off the outside edge here. You haven't got a massive block to take off and it does an absolutely perfect job. It's really easy to break these off of the main unit. But uh, that's just some of the uh, items that you're gonna see here. So there's the shoulder, um, one of the shoulder cubic sections. The front of the body is here. This is the one with the um, television screen or the screen on it. So again, I'll change it to 40% and I'll arrange the icons onto the bed so you can see what that looks like. And again, to print this one, I would have probably printed it flat down this way. So, oh, hang on a second. So I need to click on that, click on the edge I want down, which is this one there. And as you can see, that fits flat. And I'm gonna arrange all models. And there we go, let's put that on the build plate nice and flat for us. If I click on prepare, you can see that it's in the, uh, in the build plate area. Now, when you print this, once again, underneath, you can see you're gonna have a red section, which is gonna need supports. So again, I recommend just using the tree supports for that to print that. Every single thing I printed from this file, 
I printed at 40%, but if you've got a bigger 3D printer, then obviously you might be able to print 100%, no problems at all. But uh, there's all the files. I'll let you have a play with that. If you haven't used Cura before, that's a little uh, idea of how to do that. But there you go, so I'm all ready to paint it now. So uh, I hope that's opened your eyes to what the body's gonna look like. And uh, I'm sure the next time you see this, it's always gonna be sitting back there at the moment. Uh, he's actually gonna be one color rather than different kinds of colors from PLA. But uh, if you liked that video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.